I'm Leo. We are going to be looking at what it is that uh, your soul wants you to know right now. We'll be using the inquiry cards from Work Your Light Oracle and Mystical Healing Reading Cards and the Osho Zen Tarot. Alrighty, let's get into it. Okay, so one card for Leo, please. Hopefully it jumps out quick as. I knew you were going to get that. I totally knew it. Leo, <clears throat> star mother. How can you mother yourself? How can you mother yourself, Leo? <clears throat> Leo, I feel like this is about your inner child, right? And the way that you can nurture the inner child. Especially for those of you who may not have had the love, the support, the nurturing, the kindness, the gentleness that you needed when you were growing up as an adult as well. Some of you, you don't have your mum with you anymore. And it's, oh yeah, whew. it's the embrace that you miss. Or someone who is like a mum to you. One more card for Leo, please, in relation to Star Mother. Oh gosh, that's really strong, Leo. Okay, okay. One more card for Star Mother for Leo, please. Thank you. Mm. Mm. Wow. Okay, Leo. Um, the first card we have here is Relinquish Control. So it's really interesting because I'm getting a lot of energies here. And I just want to address before I go into this for those of you who don't have their mum who are um, grieving that the grief is still very prevalent in your life. Um, there's something about the roses for some of you. It could be even be just one of you. Yeah, it's either the scent of roses or roses. Uh, look, it's even on the back of the card here. Um, roses mean something to you in relation to your mum. So if that's the case, that's that's her letting you know that she's there with you now. Okay, so yeah. Um, okay, so this card here, Relinquish Control. Um I feel as though there are those of you who need to cut the cords from um, the parental control, okay, uh, so that you can give yourself what it is that you need, okay. Um, it's very interesting because there's this energy here of Star Mother which feels incredibly gentle and loving and kind and there is this energy here which feels um, traumatic and uh, it's interesting Leo because I feel like there's, there's a sense of um, in your life always wanting to kind of take off and um, and fly and this is not to say that this is to do with your mother necessarily Leo but this is about something that is holding you down and I feel as though because actually I feel like this person here with the scissors and this person here are actually the same person and what it comes down to um, at the end of the day is that 
we hold ourselves back we hold ourselves down and this injured child who needs healing the inner child who needs healing is potentially and and this is not a um a conscious thing okay this is subconsciously that inner child is holding the adult self down from flying to the heights the full potential of what can be reached because the inner child hasn't been healed. Mm. Yeah. And we do that to ourselves and that doesn't mean we're bad or stupid or anything at all. It's just what we do. We do what we do until we know to do differently, right? And then we can change that, yeah? Um, and, yeah. And I only say that, Leo, because I've done the same thing, right? I've done the same thing. So this is something that we all need to do, every single one of us, because we've all got stuff. We've got all got stuff that we need to work through. And, and I suppose at the end of the day, it's a matter of weighing up how important are you to you? Right? Okay, Leo. Um, there's support around you. You have support. You have support from your guides, from your angels, from people around you who love you, who are willing to support you, who are willing to lift you up. Okay? They are willing to help you fly but it is only you who holds the scissors no one can cut that rope for you you have to cut it yourself and these people around you leo they'll support you because for some of you it can be even though that's uncomfortable to be held down like that it's also something that you know so sometimes can feel kind of secure and um and so sometimes you know it can be that cutting that rope can be a bit scary because then it's like oh my gosh I have to fly what now what for one thing I don't even know how to use my wings to that capacity I don't even know where I'm going to fly to what am I going to do if I actually cut myself free what do I do then what you do is you trust you trust in your ability. You have faith that when you fly, when you cut yourself free, you will know how to fly. And not only that, there will be those people around you who will fly with you. I'll be like, come on, Leo, let's go. Right? Okay. And Leo, this is interesting, actually, because I don't get this from this card, this no thingness. It feels like some of you are afraid of flying into the darkness. It's kind of like, oh, if the if I if I cut the cord, I'm gonna crash and burn. It's a fear. It's a fear within you, um, because for some of you, you've been in that dark place. You've been in that blackness, right? And you're afraid of entering it again because potentially maybe at some point in your life when you did cut one of the ropes because there's been many and there might be heaps more, right? Maybe you did end up here or maybe this is where you came from. And so to fly without anything to hold on to that can be scary. But I feel like really the, the crucial thing here is to face that fear and experience 
experience the emotions that you are going through each step of the way. Embrace them. Embrace yourself. Right? Be the mother that you need. And when, when I talk about mother, I'm really talking about be that nurturing presence that you need. Bring people into your life who can help you with that. Look at ways that you can boost yourself up. And that's not just about saying, I can do it. Yeah, I've got this. This is about truly nurturing yourself in a way that maybe you've never been nurtured. Giving yourself that... Softness and gentleness that, Leo, you give to other people, right? Giving that to yourself. Really giving it to yourself, right? Because when you're alone and no one's watching, this here, Is what sits in the darkness and this is what you're ultimately afraid of but what you dream of is right there for you and when you cut yourself free from that right and trust Trust the guidance that you're receiving. That's what you can reach. You can reach that. The dream. Yeah? While you're doing this, see, this is really cool because when you cut yourself, when you cut yourself free, when you cut that rope, it's important to ground yourself. Oh, sorry. <laughs> What are you going to do? Ground yourself. <laughs> um, you know, because otherwise, because sometimes what can happen is we can become so um, overwhelmed by this new sense of freedom that we can get carried away, okay, um, and lose our footing a little bit. So it is important to ground yourself. Very important to stay aware, stay focused, Stay in alignment here, okay? Um, stay balanced. Yeah. But you know what? I'm just noticing here. I've never noticed this in this car before. See here? This bird here is in this heart area. And it's kind of like allowing your heart to sing. This is the result of actually... You know, when you mother yourself, when you give yourself all of that that you need, that is what ends up happening. You will reach heights that you have only dreamed of. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I'm flying everywhere. <laughs> uh, what have we got there? I reckon that's enough. Okay, let me pick these up. Okay, so... Yeah, 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 yeah. Um... This here, this here is releasing this burden, right? Um, and this may be the burden that other people have placed upon you to um, go this way, do this, you know, do what we say. Um, it, it, because I feel like this is you, okay? And these two are on top of you. Interesting that this bird has come up here, right? That the, the um, the rooster has come up here, and the rooster's louder than all the other birds, right? It's hard to hear the other birds over the rooster, like the the um, call is so loud, okay? Um, but there's this, there's this song inside of you, in your heart, right? That the more you allow it to come out and be heard, the more you'll recognize it. And this is about recognition of your soul, not what everyone else has told you to do or what you think you need to do. This is about you and only you, okay? This is something that you have lived through lifetimes to bring out. And what I want to say here is when you're mothering yourself here, Leo, you are mothering 
all of your um, yourselves in the different lifetimes that you've had. You're healing all the generations prior, right? This is this intergenerational healing and um, that is necessary for you to be able to cut this. This is not just from this lifetime. This is from many lifetimes here. Okay, so this is why it's so crucial for you to do. Yeah, and <laughs> this, look at this, right? You do, it doesn't have to be all serious. You know, you can have fun with it. You can treat it like an adventure. Yeah, you can go out off. You can be the clown, right? Look at this transparency of this person. This is this person stepping into the authenticity, right? Letting the inner child out to play here. Yeah, because when we heal our inner child, often the inner child work can be all about, you know, um, all the stuff that's happened and everything like that. But it's also about having fun and letting that part of our inner child out as well. And going and exploring the world and seeing what we can discover. You know, it could still be yet that you're to discover what it is, what heights you want to reach. Because you've been held down for so long that you're not entirely sure. And maybe, Leo, you've carried the burden of other people for so long that you don't know what that song of your own is inside of you. And maybe that is yet to come out. So have fun with that. Enjoy it as you travel along this journey to this discovery okay because as you make that journey you're going to learn more and more and more about yourself and who you are and what you like and what you don't like and who you will take with you along that journey yeah this is so cool so so cool yeah see who are you bringing with you what what tools do you need what do you want to um have in your life to bring that balance in right this is here balancing everything for yourself okay not just the good stuff not just the light side of yourself but also the dark side the the stuff that you don't want to look at that you don't want anyone else to see that you hide in the shadows over there yeah and in the shadows over there, Leo, are also lots of good stuff as well. Hidden talents, gifts, and whatever else that you've buried down because other people have told you, just settle. Do what you're told and everything will be okay, right? So at the end of the day, this isn't about um, trying to get rid of our shadow selves. Our shadow selves have to be there. Otherwise, you know, you can't have a yin-yang symbol without the, the dark, right? You can't have it without the light. You have to have both to create balance, okay? So this is you integrating everything that you want in your life, including the stuff that you may not necessarily be proud of. Taking all that, Leo, and loving yourself anyway. Loving yourself regardless. That thing over there that you're like, oh God, I wish I hadn't have done that. Or, well, I hope no one finds out about that. It's okay. That's part of me that I'm going to love anyway. Yeah? Yeah. And go into the silence here. Right? This is the nothingness. This is where the nothingness resides. This is, this is the light side of the dark side. In the silence everything's calm everything's peaceful this is where the i am resides this is where the true you is this is where you tap into that into the silence into the stillness you will find yourself okay and the next card here is release fear yeah see some of you are hiding behind closed doors or there's a portion of you that is still hiding behind closed doors. Look at this person that to me looks like a child. 
peeking out, mm, not wanting to see, living in fear. So it's time to release that fear now. It's time to release it. Okay, give me more for release fear for Leo, please. See, this is the one way to um, mother yourself, right? Is to release this fear, to nurture yourself through that release of that fear. Okay, to assure yourself that you have your back. You know, to make sure you've got other people around you that you know have your back. Yeah, I've got a card on the floor I need to pick up. Okay, so um, releasing this fear here, yeah. Um, there's this, this jumped out first. And um, there's a fear of everything crumbling, of losing everything, of kind of, I suppose, accepting this, right? Accepting this. And it's like, oh, but what if, you know? Um, and I feel like sometimes that can keep you shut away. Um, and, and that's not really allowing you to live life to the fullest, right? Because getting in our, inside our head about things, that creates the pollution, that creates the clouds, that creates the thunderstorm that brings the tower down. So we can do it to ourselves, right? And that is what we don't want to do. You know, there's this stress card here of just balancing everything and hoping it doesn't crumble, yeah? Here's the thing, here's the thing with the Thunderbolt card, right? It's um, it's about creating a foundation that is solid enough because see here, this, this card here, you can't create a solid foundation with all this going on in the mind, right? In order for that to be stable, it's a matter of clearing all that out. And how do we clear that out? We go into the silence, right? We go into the stillness, yeah? We take care of that inner child <laughs> we take care of that inner child and we mother ourselves and give ourselves the nurturing that we desire and deserve that's how we do that leo we love ourselves purely and utterly right we shine our light so bright that we lead our own way regardless of what is going on around us, right? We take time for ourselves and we find out who we are, yeah? And this brings to us the awareness of our authenticity, okay? What happens is we get so busy comparing ourselves to others, right, instead of understanding that we are all one and the same, no matter what we look like, we all share the same space. We all have our own purpose. We all have our different roles. And it is all crucial in the entire existence of all that is. Yeah? So, based on that, let's have a little read of a star mother here. I'm glad I remember this because I forgot to do it with Cancer, so I'll have to put it in the description. Sorry, Cancer. Anyway, Star Mother. Alrighty, how can you mother yourself? You are more held than you could possibly imagine. Loved and cherished so dearly that if you knew, you would not spend one second of your life in separation worry or fear let the mother carry your burdens let her rock away your fears lay all of your worries regrets shame and guilt on her altar please please sweet child do not fear you are love in motion if you allow it you are ready, sorry, if you allow it, you are already healed. Let her remind you of your goodness. Let her love away your fears. 
your capacity to love and hold others is limited to your capacity to love and hold yourself. Be compassionate with your sweet body, mind and soul. Treat yourself like the beautiful spirit that you truly are. Remind yourself that you are doing your best and try not to carry it all on your own. You have got this and the mother has got you. Let her broad arms take away your burdens. Let her lift the weight of the world oft off your shoulders. Forgive yourself, my dear sweet child of the earth. Oh, I love that. I love that, Leo. That is so beautiful. So when you need help to mother yourself, call on Star Mother. And come back and listen to this and hear her words. Okay? I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.